Hey, how's it going, guys? My name's Danny, and I am playing The Sims for you today. I kind of wanted to introduce you guys to a project I've been working on. Um, this is, I think, the first video that I'm letting out for you guys, um, and it involves building a sorority and a fraternity that are next to each other on the same lot. Um, I was kind of inspired by the university that I live basically on the campus of. <laughs> um, I live by Ohio State and here all of the, well not all of it, but most of the Greek life is all on one street and every single house is like side to side to side to side. That being said, I'm not in the Greek life so a lot of this is just kind of what I've observed from the outside or from friends that I've had that are in a sorority or a fraternity and what they've told me or like times I've been in their house that kind of thing so hopefully I did a pretty okay job getting the vibe of both of these houses it was actually really fun to kind of just I don't know go off of almost the like cartoonish glorified version of a sorority and a fraternity that you see in pop culture and in movies and all that so like I had a really over-the-top party version of the fraternity and the sorority house was like super duper glitzy, glammy, you know, very posh and polished. Um, I know not every single one is like that and there's all kinds of different um, frats and sororities, you know, uh, depending on where you go to college, but this is just kind of a very stereotypical one and I feel like that's kind of what The Sims is about, you know? It's all very cartoonish and a little bit over the top. And <laughs> I figured anybody who would want to download this is probably doing some pretty over the top stuff with these buildings. So hopefully this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Um, like I said earlier, this is kind of an ongoing project for me. I, you know, as long as I've been playing The Sims, uh, university or just college in general has always kind of been the focus of what I wanted to play with even before I was college age myself just because I think it's the most interesting and exciting I know that The Sims gets a lot of grief for being a young adult simulator and it definitely is I'm not here to argue that but because that's the case I think it really caters itself to you know, uh, college life, right? Because everybody that's in college is a young adult. So they have a lot of gameplay <laughs> and it's actually fun to play, turns out. <laughs> um, this building here on the right that I'm building right now is the fraternity, by the way. I put a big banner on the front. Um, this is in Brightchester. So I, you know, use the Brightchester colors because I've noticed that or at least in recent years, I don't know how long this has been going on. Um, but sometimes when I like go down the street that all the Greek life is on, they will do like, I don't know if they're like called campaigns or what, but they'll do like, oh, anti-bullying or like, you know, um, anti-sexual assault. And I'm, I think it's dope. They'll put like these big signs that are like, we support whatever and on the front of their houses. And so I was like, oh, I'll do something like that. Sounds cool. I think I tried to do it on the sorority as well, but I couldn't get it to like fit right. Um, or no, I remember what happened. It, there just, there isn't another good sign that looks like this one. And I didn't want it to look like I just copy pasted the same thing. I wanted both the buildings to look pretty unique. So I just kept it on the fraternity building because it was a little bigger. And I think that it fit a little better the way the columns go up two stories. Speaking of the columns, I got a bone to pick <laughs> because there were these perfect, beautiful columns that came with university that would have been honestly immaculate on this building and you know what they have a height limit like you know how they had the update and they were like oh yeah you can just stretch columns now as tall as you want except it's not as tall as you want it's like some of the columns literally like will only go like one and a half stories i i messed with that and i'm not sure if i cut it out of the video or if we already watched it because quite frankly i wasn't paying attention i'm sorry about that that's my bad some of you gotta know about me is i have adhd and <laughs> my attention span is not great um but anyway yeah no it was in bull honky i'll say it i'm sorry but i don't know i'm not a fan of the update i maybe that's a hot take i don't know but i mean in general i think it's nice i guess but no i don't know i don't know why i'm trying to be nice i don't think it's nice <laughs> i don't like it i'm sorry um another thing to note about this video is i 
uh, recorded this all maybe maybe two weeks ago or so. I don't know, maybe a little longer than that. I'll have to check my gallery. So that being said, uh, I don't have Snowy Escape or the platform update in this video. Uh, I don't really know what I would have used from either of those things in this anyway, because, you know, I don't know. But I, I, I don't really see where I would have put any of those things, but something to keep in mind, you won't be seeing any of that content in this video, but maybe in later videos, I will use that kind of stuff. You can see right now that I have started working on the sorority house right next door. My intention with this was to kind of make it so that you could have, for example, like four sorority girls and four fraternity guys um, all on, or all in the same household and then just use like locked doors or something so that they could have different houses and you could have all, all kinds of drama between the two different households because I don't know, who doesn't want that in their Sims game, you know what I'm saying? Um, I actually made Sims for this household already. Um, so if you wanna use the ones that I made, they are on my gallery. Um, my name on the gallery is Stanny Doan, <laughs> which is so stupid, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I can even change it, um, but it's S-T-A-N-I-D-O-N-E. Um, I'm pretty sure I made them custom con- yeah, I definitely made them custom content free because I was gonna eventually, potentially, um, release all of this as a save file, so um, I think they're marked as having custom content though because I have replacement default eyes and skins. So if you want to see them, just put custom content enabled and you will see them, but you should be just okay to download them into your game. No problem, no custom content required. Um, so that's an option for you, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. The whole point is <laughs> I, was, I made um, four gals and four guys and I put them in clubs and I give them traits I give them relationships and you don't have to use mine you can make your own and honestly that would probably be a little bit more juicy because you'll probably be a lot more invested in them you know that's how it is uh, but feel free to use my houses I'm proud of them <laughs> this was actually like super fun to do because I in addition to using you know my background knowledge from you know going to certain frats and strats in my own experience I got to do a lot of research, um, just looking up different, you know, uh, houses across the country and oh my God, <laughs> they are gorgeous. These people got money. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, I'll have to look it back up. Um, but there was this one sorority house I was looking at. I want to say it was in like Georgia or something. And I was like floored. I was like, this is like a fucking princess castle. I am, I don't understand how people live here. Cause literally, basically I was living in a shoe box when I first moved to college. <laughs> Cannot relate, <laughs> um, but that's okay. You know, different strokes, different folks. It's all good. Um, but yeah, another thing that was fun was I feel like I tried to make the architecture and the interior of the sorority house a little bit more feminine and the other building a lot more like masculine which was like kind of just like an interesting challenge that i don't think i've ever really had to deal with before so can recommend and just you know what just ignore what i'm doing there with these roofs because quite frankly this is my achilles heel i roofs are not your girl's strong suit so it took me a minute i think i cut most of my struggling out of this video but if there's too much content of me just like trying to figure it out just bear with me just bear with me and if you're bad at roofs too you know you're not alone <laughs> i mean you probably knew that but trust me you're not alone uh that is probably what i spend most of my time doing in any given video is trying to make the roof not look like hot garbage so there you go um, but yeah, so I don't know, it was, going back to the whole feminine thing, I tried to use a lot more like curved elements and like, like stark contrasts and like softer colors. I don't know. It was, it was cool. In my brain, it makes sense. Maybe I was high. I don't know. <laughs> uh, don't do drugs, kids. Um, but yeah, I gave the gals a pool and that's cool. So, I don't know, I don't think that anywhere on the Sims 4 University campus originally had a pool at all. 
Um, in my save file, I intend on definitely the sorority girls are gonna have one. I put a pool in the gym for Foxberry, which I probably will release that video next, I reckon. Um, maybe this weekend, we'll see. I, uh, in case it's not just abundantly obvious, don't totally know what I'm doing yet, but I kind of made a resolution myself that I wanted to keep practicing making videos. And so here we are, I'm making a video <laughs> and I'd like to make more videos. I just don't know when they're gonna come out. So hopefully this weekend, we'll see, TBD. But please watch also. <laughs> um, so this is the aforementioned pool. Uh, I put a little floaty in it. I put some like loungers and a grill. Honestly, the girl's house slaps. I am very jealous of it. I think it is freaking gorgeous. Um, it's like very, neutrals you know lots of black and white with just like little like hints of like a pastel pink or green here and there um i don't know i except for maybe their rooms the rooms in both houses i kind of strayed away from the strict color schemes because in my mind i'm like okay these are like people's houses you know what i mean like they're gonna decorate their space like their space to be how they want it to be you know and that's like so important, honestly, like not to get all like weird about it, but I feel like I've seen so many people in my life like go through like some sort of hardship with like a roommate or some sort of like, or even their family and they don't feel like they have a space of their own that like makes them feel like it represents them or they have control or they have, they can feel comfortable in it. And that like does a number on your mental health and how you're feeling. So I don't know, that's always something to be aware of. Like if you're feeling like trash and you're feeling stressed all the time, maybe like take a minute to be like, do I have a space that I can go and unwind and feel comfortable? Cause like, I mean, I don't know, maybe don't do that because I, it, depending on how much control you have over the situation, maybe you'll just be like, I don't and it sucks. And if that's the case, I'm sorry. But if you do have control over it, maybe be like, hey, maybe I should do something about this because this is not a positive situation. It's doing nothing for me. Uh, I had a situation like that, actually. I lived with this girl who, well, I don't know. I don't want to put her on blast because I'm on the internet. <laughs> but uh, let's just say it was not a positive living situation for the two of us. We were not simpatico and living there was just not good. I like the only space that was for me was my bedroom and I pretty much lived in it and that's like I don't know that's not how you should live you should be able to feel comfortable in your house at the very least you know what I mean like you got enough problems already I don't know what I'm fucking talking about sorry um, right now we're doing the backyard I remember I really wanted a hot tub I wanted a hot tub so bad at one of these houses and I just could not make it fit. This lot, like if it was even just like five tiles wider or something, I could have made it happen, but it wasn't gonna happen. I had to just say goodbye hot tub. And you know what? The hot tubs in the game only sort of work anyway. So it's not like you're missing out on much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, we are now inside. We are hanging out in the dining room. I'm obsessed with this dining room. Can you imagine just like, all of this is just like so much more glamorous than my college experience was. I just, I can't handle it. Um, just like eating breakfast or whatever and just like dining in this beautiful sunroom that's overlooking a pool i mean get real are you kidding i put a little bar cart it's like a you know let's let's just have like a little party or whatever have your bar cart there and i put a lot of these like old pictures to be like oh this is our history as a sorority or whatever you know all around lots of greenery hints here and there um but it's pretty, it's, it's pretty minimal, but it's still like decorated and fancy. You know what I mean? I don't know if those things are opposites, but you know what I mean. Um, we're doing the kitchen here. Um, I did the thing that, don't hate me. Okay, I'm blocking the windows a little bit with the counters, but I'm sorry. I liked where the windows were and I liked where the counters were, so just look past it, okay? It's not that big of a deal. Just don't, don't think about it too hard, you know? Just look, look past it. 
I've looked past it. You're going to look past it. It's all good. It looks nice. Just don't think too hard about it. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a pretty spacious kitchen. Um, you know, this is part of the reason why this can't be considered student housing because I was like, I want them to have kitchens. I think that that rule is so whack. If you don't know, uh, in Sims 4 University, if a lot is considered student housing, you can't have a fridge or a stove on it. And like, I get where they were coming from, sort of, where they were like, oh, we want you to like have to go to the dining hall if you live in a dorm. It's like, okay, yeah, sure, I get that. But like, that's like only really applies to dorms and student housing isn't exclusive to dorms. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I think it's silly, but you know, The Sims 4 likes to be silly, don't it? <laughs> it just loves to be so silly all the time. Um, so, you know, what? it's just a regular house. It's just a regular house. You can move your Sims into it and sign them up for university and it functions basically exactly the same. So you know what, it's fine. There are workarounds, this is a workaround, it's all good. Uh, this is the living room. I gave both the boys and the girls just this massive freaking TV because as was already established, these people got money. They got money. They're nice and well off, you know what I mean? And sorority girls and honestly like all of Greek life, they like to host, they like to have these events and I think that's dope, that's rad. They love to just have things going on. And so what better than to have a big old living room with plenty of space for people to freaking kick it and a big old TV for whatever your needs, you know, need <laughs> for whatever event and you're good to go. Um, so that's basically, I think all of the first floor finished up there. And I really wish that the second floor in this house was a little bigger because if I'm being real, these bathrooms and these bedrooms are a lot more cramped than I think that the idealistic sorority house would have. But, you know, we're working with what we got. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I fit in two bathrooms and four bedrooms and that's like pretty ambitious, I'd say, you know, all things considered. So, um, or no, actually, you know what? It might be three bedrooms now that I'm thinking about it and also looking at it. <laughs> My bad. Uh, two of the girls are sharing a bedroom. But yeah, so again, not super spacious, but there is enough space for four ladies in this, you know, house. So that's not that bad. And honestly, like, who really cares? You can, it's fine. Um, I guess, honestly, the main drawback with this is they don't have double beds and you know what I'm saying. They can't uh, do the little honky tonk ba donk you know? <laughs> I don't know who I am, what is happening? Um, but they have showers, so they can get it done. And also the boys' house is right there. And uh, weirdly, a lot of the boys were able to have double beds and that's not like, I don't know. I didn't try, I wasn't trying to make some sort of like conversation about <laughs> uh, privilege or anything, I don't know. Um, that's just how it worked out. That's just how it worked out. Not bad on that. Um, also, I want to apologize right now. Uh, my sweet, perfect angel of a cat uh, really wants to sit on my lap right now. And it's this or she scratches at my door every two seconds. So she's sitting on my lap. So my apologies if you can hear her purring. I don't have a great audio recording situation right now. I'm literally talking to my phone like I'm on speaker with like my friend or something. So uh, hopefully you can't hear her. Um, she's, she's just kicking it though. So she's just like a notoriously loud purr though. Like it's like, oh God, I love her so much, but God, she just purrs so freaking loud. It's the worst when I'm like trying to sleep and she's like, <laughs> like, hello, can you like not do that right there? You clown. God, uh, God, I love her though. She's my life. Um, so yeah, here's the bedrooms. I, like I said, I didn't like follow a super duper strict, like color scheme for the bedrooms the way I did with the rest of the house. Like the wallpaper and the flooring all matches cause I want it to look cohesive. Um, but I gave like the girls a little bit of personality in their rooms, you know, um, I use a lot of the eco lifestyle and the tiny living. Those fit in perfect. I want to say I'd say those two packs as well as Discover University are probably going to be the top packs that I used in this house. So if you have those three, you can probably download this like, and then just, you know, make a few adjustments here and there wherever like other packs were used. But as long as you have those three, I think you're gonna be like square away. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, Cause it's like, I don't know. I, I, I can recognize that I'm very lucky to have all of the packs uh, cause they are expensive. And honestly, I probably shouldn't have all the bags because I would have way more money now <laughs> if I didn't buy them all, but I have no self-control. So here we are. Um, what was it saying? Anyway, uh, so <laughs> it, if you don't have all the packs, I get it for sure. I totally get it. I literally, when I had the Sims 3, like when I was younger, uh, I had like generations and seasons and that was it. I had two packs <laughs> and you know, I like didn't even like realize until way later how much more content there was in that game. And I was like mind blown. I was like, what the fuck? I could have been playing all this this entire time. What the heck? Um, but also Sims 3 base game had a lot more, uh, shall we say content. It was a lot more uh, playable <laughs> on its own. Whereas The Sims 4 is like, yeah, you can like, you can exist for, for, for the base game, but then if you want to do anything, you need to download shit. If you want to decorate anything, you need to download shit. So, you know, that's where we're at. That is where we're at. And you know, this was not supposed to be a Bash Sims 4 video, but you know, sometimes you just talk about The Sims 4 and it just comes naturally, you know? Uh, <laughs> sorry, EA, but also not sorry. Please give me more content. Anyway, um, so we're just doing a little landscaping here. Just putting all, all kinds of little bushes around. That is like something that I always appreciated when I would walk to campus um, back back in the old college years. Um, I say that like it was like forever ago. It was like a year ago or two, <laughs> like back in the day. Um, but back when I used to have to walk down the road with all the uh sorority and fraternity houses are all so well manicured they're all so pretty i'm sure they have like professional gardeners or whatever um they're so pretty they're so pretty they always have like gorgeous flowers and like beautifully manicured like bushes and i'm a sucker for that i'm like oh can you imagine having a, a well manicured estate one day except probably not but like maybe <laughs> one day that'll be me except it'll just be my house. I want to share it with 50 men or whatever. Uh, honestly, like living in one of these houses isn't actually a dream of mine, which is probably why I didn't do it. Um, it just seems like it would be giving up a lot of your privacy, giving up a lot of your autonomy. There's just like a lot of rules, a lot of events. Like one of my really good friends in college was in a sorority at least for the first part of college and she was also at a couple of different clubs and through those clubs is how i met her and it was always just like such a song and dance to get her to be able to go to anything like not because she didn't want to go but just because like it was always like the sorority has like something going on and you have to go to it or else you're you know what i mean like it was just like like they like had your your, your nuts in their hand <laughs> Wow, I don't know why I'm being so blue. Like, but they, I don't know, they had you like pretty controlled. And I don't know, I guess that's maybe intentional. Like it's supposed to be kind of like your way of life, I guess. Um, and that's not like really hating on it, but it just isn't, I don't think what I want. I am a pretty independent person. And even just like living in my house, like growing up and my parents telling me what to do, like, God, I sound so angsty, but I would, I just, uh, I, I don't like being, I don't like being told what to do, you know? <laughs> I like, I like my freedom. I do. I, I like to be able to make my own decisions, even if they're stupid, you know? Um, and that's just me. That's something I know about myself and that's, you know, affected my decisions through life. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Here is the fraternity's house, and you will probably notice right off the bat, it is a lot more brown, it is a lot more beige. It is still nice quality, like, appliances and plumbing. However, there is a lot more just bullshit going on, because I don't know if this is, like, universal, but I kind of feel like it's universal, but sororities aren't allowed to, like, hold big parties, but fraternities are or I don't know, that's like kind of my understanding of it. So, you know, this house has probably seen quite a few parties and it is probably trashed all the time. There's probably just dudes like waking up on the floor around here, you know what I mean? Like the furniture is probably just like not the most like carefully selected or well-treated. 
you know? And so I tried to kind of like evoke that vibe just by having like random shit that like the guys probably thought was funny. And so they put it in the house, you know, but also mixed with elements that are like quote unquote, like classy, you know, like the, like the, oh, I called it the orb hello, the globe, <laughs> the globe bar, the orb bar. <laughs> I actually think those things are really cool. My best friend ever, uh, she has one of those in her house and I'm so jealous of it. She doesn't even put booze in it, which kind of like bothers me. I'm like, man, give it to me. I want to put booze in it. <laughs> I want that to be my secret bar. Uh, I'm pretty sure she just puts like, you know how everyone has like a junk drawer, like in their kitchen or whatever. Uh, I think that the globe is her junk drawer. Isn't that so sad? What a waste. No tea though, or no shade. <laughs> like I love her. She can do whatever she wants. I think it's cool that she has it in the first place. Um, but yeah, but like just like following that vibe, I just tried to put like all kinds of activities all over the place. I put a foosball table on the bottom level of this kind of stairwell or whatever. I put all kinds of like stolen like road signs and traffic cones or whatever. Like, cause I remember my friend, I, should, I probably shouldn't say anybody's real names on this. Again, I'm on the internet. Um, one of my friends <laughs> growing up, or not growing up, uh, in college, uh, she was probably one of my main friends that was in a sorority and she actually left as well. Um, most of my friends that were in sororities left the sorority, which I don't know. I think is maybe why I have a little bit more of a pessimistic view of what they're like and you know, but I, I don't know, again, to each their own. I'm not trying to be a hater right now. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. In her house, she would have parties all the time. Um, and she just had like all kinds of like traffic codes and like street signs and like she had a traffic light, like all kinds of stuff just like that. Like, I guess they had stolen, like, I don't know. I didn't actually think that hard about it, but I tried to, you know, incorporate a lot of elements of that in this house because I kind of associate that a lot more with kind of like frattier behavior, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I did that and then I, um, put like a punching bag and a basketball hoop stuff that they could get their athletic skill up on because you know there's definitely an association there of like frat guys and a uh proficiency or a tendency towards fitness so definitely that lots of kegs too because <laughs> there is also a tendency for alcohol consumption if you will so or i'm sorry juice consumption this is a pg or is it pg-13 or wait, how do games get rated? I'm sorry. Just like, don't listen to me. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't know anything. Um, anyway, so I put all kinds of little, little knickknacks like that. I, I put this like bear flag all over the house. And in my mind, I was like, that's like their emblem as, as a frat, you know? Because like, realistically, there probably would be like, like a series of letters. And I put letters like from Dine Out on the front of both the houses, but... I don't know, it didn't look totally right on the inside. So I, I opted for the flag with the bear on it on the inside. And I was like, yeah, that's the same thing, you know? So just kind of, I don't know, it's all about evoking a vibe. You kind of have to just like use your imagination a little bit and just kind of like, you know, not think too hard about any item and just kind of let like the feeling of the room speak to you. Wow, I'm not high right now. <laughs> Let the feeling of the room speak to you, I said. Well, uh, who am I? Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the guys' rooms, I used kind of like the crappier beds. Again, a lot of them have double beds, which is like pretty cool, but I, uh, I put some of their mattresses on the ground because I don't know if any of you have uh, spent the evening with a, a gentleman in college, but <laughs> uh, I'd say quite a few of them don't have furniture per se in their rooms which is a choice oh shoot this video is over okay um anyway that's it thanks for watching this video thanks for listening to me ramble and look out for another one soon there'll be more rambling then <laughs> oh goodbye thank you